So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Rajesh from Talisha Learnings and in this video we'll talk about SQLite, okay? Now, uh, you know when you work with Android application, why we make apps, right, is because we want to store the information. So you can store the information uh, using shared preference, so there's one of the options you have. The second way is you can store inside your internal storage or you can use external storage. The next way is using network. Example, if you use my app, which is Telisco app, so we have done, we have stored all the information on the server side. Example, it might be your login details, it might be your uh, questions, it might be the codes, all the, all the videos, everything is stored on the server. So you, my, uh, the, the app, which is the Lisco app, is able to download all the data, or it has all the data, it's because it is fetching from the network, right? The next way is using SQLite. Not exactly SQLite is. Uh, so if, if you have worked on Oracle, if you have worked on MySQL, if you have worked on SQL Server, it's almost same. The difference is, you know, uh, we have all the features in some softwares and then we have small features. So this is like a light version of all those softwares, right? So you can fire the queries here, you can, you know, you can create tables, you can fetch data from the table, you can insert values, you can update values, you can do all those stuff using SQLite. Sounds interesting, right? Now, there are some people, they find it difficult. There are some people, they find it easy. The only thing is, if you have the Java knowledge, if you know, if you, if you know the con concept of uh, how to use, how to use, how to create object, how to, you know, how to use database in using Java, which is DDBC, this concept is very simple. If you, if you don't know those stuff, then it becomes difficult to understand the concept, okay? But still, I will try to explain it in a simple way so that even if you, if you have not seen uh, JDBC, you might, you, you will understand this. Okay, so I have some pre-written code on my laptop, so we'll, we'll, I, will, I will try to refer those codes to, under, to make you understand here. Again, after this, we have a practical video just to make you understand how to run it, okay? So, uh, so for the first thing you require here, is, so to work with database, of course, we require a database, right? So let's, let's say the database name we'll be working uh, uh, with is student.db. Again, you can change the extension, that's not the issue. But you can have a database name, you can, you can name it student.db, okay? So that's one, you require a database here. Now to work with this database, uh, the thing is, this database will be private to your app. If you're, if you're saying that it is not secure, then it's no. Uh, it is secure, then the thing is, this database will be used only by your app. So this is like a private database. So if, if you have a database, if you have an app like Truecaller, so Truecaller cannot use this database, right? Because it's a different application. That means this database will only work in your own context, right? So that means you have to link your application with the database, and that's possible with the help of a class which is called as SQLite Open Helper. And trust me, this is the actual helper. So by using this, you can actually uh, get the database, you can create the database, and you can do all those stuff, right? But the thing is, to work with this, it has it already has some methods like on create, on upgrade. So you don't have to use those classes or those methods directly. The thing is, you have to create your own class. So let's say my class is uh, my helper. So you have to create your own class, and you need to extend this class. Okay, so that you will get all the features. Now, when you say extends, uh, we need to we need to pass some more things, more stuff, right? Uh, so when you when you create your own class, in this you have to create a construct, constructor of your own class. So let's say my constructor is my helper, okay. And in this constructor you have to, you have to some you have to pass some parameters. Again, we'll not we'll not discuss about ex ex the exact parameters, but one of the parameters you have to pass is called as the database name, okay. So you have to mention the database name here so that you know you you can pass the database name here. So you can create a database, you can reuse, we can use the database using SQLite Open Helper. For that, you have to pass this database name to this constructor. And how do you pass it? So inside, inside your constructor, you have to call a super. So what exactly super means? So whenever you have a super and the package, you're actually calling this super class constructor, okay? And now when you pass DN here with the database name, it will go to this this class constructor, okay? Again, I will, I will try to explain this with the help of practical also, we'll, we'll see this, how to do that. But the only thing is, the most important class to work with SQLite is this one, which is SQLite Open Helper. You have to call the constructor of this class so that you can create the database. 
Now, once you've got the database, now what next? So let's say this is the activity when I when I actually creating data database. So first you have to create the object of my helper. Okay, let's say the object name is obj. Now using this obj, you need to call a method called as get writable. Oh, what is the spelling of writable? It's r that's writable database. Okay, so this is the method you have to call. Now the 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 database you have created here. You can fetch the database with the help of get writable database. So when you want to save data, use this one. When you want to fetch data, we can use a method called as get. It will be readable database. So when you want to save data, we can use get writable database. When you want to fetch data, we can use get readable database. Again, when you want to fetch data, we can also use get writable database. Let's try let's try it on the in the code itself. So get writable is for storing data and get readable for fetching data, right? Now let's say, let's talk about the writable first. Now let's say you want to store data. So for that, you need to create something called as content value. Okay, so content value is something, uh, content values is a class using which you can actually insert value. So what you can do is, let's say you have a table called a student, okay? And in that in that student table, we have uh, three columns. Let's say we have SID, we have oh, sorry, we have roll number, we have name, and then we have marks, right? So what you can do using content values, you can so you can set all the values. So let's say you want to set one, which is roll number, Naveen, which is name, and 50, which is marks. So you have to set all the values using content values. Once you got the values, you can store that data inside your database. Again, how to do that? We'll see in the practical. So you have to use content values when you want to store data. When you want to fetch data, you need to use something called as cursor. Now, I hope you remember uh, result set in JDBC. So if you're familiar with JDBC, we use result set. So whenever you fire a query to the database, we fetch data, right? And we, we store that data somewhere. And that data is stored in result set in JDBC. But in Android, we have to use something called cursor. So all the data, okay, which is which you are fetching, will be stored inside a cursor. Now let's say you are fetching five rows, okay. When you want to traverse between two rows, so let's say you are on the first row, you want to go on to the third row. You can use some methods, like okay? you can specify the positions, you can go to the next row, you can fetch the particular column with the help of cursor. So let me repeat: to get a database to write data, we use get writable database, and we use content values. To fetch data, we use get readable database, and then we use cursor to fetch data, right? Now the next question is where to specify the query, right? You want to create tables, you want to uh, what? You want to delete database. You can do all those stuff. So in this my helper class itself, since it is extending SQLite Open Helper, it has two methods. In fact, it has lots of methods, but two methods are very important. One is on create, and second is on upgrade. Okay. So you can you can create a table you on on create event and you can you can modify the database or using on upgrade right so we'll see those in the practical session so point to remember the class we want to use for the database is SQLite Open Helper uh, method which is get writable database get readable database content values and cursor so once you are familiar with the terms now we can actually start with the implementation so make sure. After this video, you, have, you watch the practical session so that you will understand how exactly to work with SQLite databases. So that, that's it. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.